For all those geeky and tech-loving people, 5G is a well-heard term. But have you ever questioned what it actually is? If not, let me tell you all about it. In simple words, 5G stands for 5th generation mobile network, which is evolved after its previous successor 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G. Mobile phone networks are categorized into different generations according to their reliability and strength. If you are a late teen, then you might be familiar to 3G and 4G, and a bit of rumor about 5G. Here, G stands for generations. So let's dive into each mobile generations first. 1G mostly relied on voice call, 2G on voice call and data signals, 3G for voice, data, and video calls, 4G for high-speed and IP-based internet, and 5G, as you can expect, for much higher speed internet. If you take a closer look at this generation's time period, you will find a time difference of around 10 years in consecutive generations. As mobile network generation progresses, you will be able to experience faster and more reliable mobile internet. 5G not only gives you fast internet, but it also gives you the ability to get connected with other devices and does contribute in building smart cities, internet, and much more. Hey Alexa, switch on the AC. <clears throat> okay, getting back to the topic. As of 2020, only a few cities have been using 5G networking, but a lot of mobile phone manufacturing companies are upgrading their hardware to use the 5G band. We have covered the basics regarding 5G, but you may be wondering how does it all work? Well, let me explain. 5G uses three wavelength technologies, and they are low band 5G, mid band 5G, and millimeter wave, also known as high band 5G. Low band wavelength offers slow speed but can travel long distances. Mid band offers a bit more speed but for a bit shorter distance. And yes, you guessed it right, millimeter wave offers the fastest speed but for a bit shorter distance than the mid band. So, what are the technologies used in 5G? Millimeter wave having an extremely high frequency is used in transmitting 5G. Unlike its predecessor 4G, 5G uses small cell towers for networking. Talking about the range of the 5G tower, it is comparatively less as compared to previous predecessors. Experts said that 5G signals get blocked by almost everything. By everything, I mean apartments, buildings, concrete, even your hands that are holding your smartphone to watch this video. To deal with this problem, your network provider needs to install a lot of small cell towers, even for a small city, and for that, we have to have massive MIMO antennas. Massive MIMO stands for multiple input, multiple output. As the full form implies, it can handle multiple users at the same time, all thanks to the millimeter wave for making it possible to have a lot of transmitters and receivers in a small cell having over 100 antennas. Also, utilization of beamforming technology allows 5G to connect to devices 10 times faster as concentrated waves induces better connectivity, and it means that you can watch videos from Explore Gadgets at 4K 60fps without buffering. So what are the advantages of 5G? I'm sure that you might have seen the screenshot of people sharing GBPS internet download speed on social media. Downloading the entire web series still remains one of the fantasies in today's time. But fear not, as it won't be the situation in the future with the likes of 5G. 5G can comprehensively be adopted to sectors like autonomous driving and IoT platforms as it's the speed of over 1 GBPS with a minuscule latency that will yield far greater results. I don't think you'll be surprised if kids in 2025 google what's buffering, all thanks to 5G. Now this is all you need to know about 5G. We all know that frequency is inversely proportional to penetrating power. I know you're tired of high school physics but please tolerate it this time. So any obstacle in the middle will partially block the wave and result in low bandwidth. 5G technology transmits the data in millimeter waves and uses the frequency of 24 GHz to 100 GHz. You need to understand that your phone's hardware must support the 5G network. Many people reported that their phone overheated while using 5G. But do keep in mind that although you get GBPS internet with 5G, the upload speed remains the same as 4G. But why is that? Well, that's a topic for another video. Now coming to the main point, why is 5G costly? So far we have talked about the pros of 5G and it's pretty much sure that you might be very fascinated by this technology. It is also important to note that this technology is very costly as it uses multiple small cells and also requires 5G enabled hardware in mobile phones. Even in a small city, a lot of small power towers are required to transmit data which significantly increases the cost. So for those people who consume less data per second, their brain may not feel the advantage of super fast internet, but their wallet definitely will. So summing up, 5G will surely bring positive changes and it does contribute in building smart cities, autonomous driving, robotic surgery, and the list goes on and on. 
Well, that was it for this video, guys. Do leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you don't want to miss out on some more upcoming content. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Saman signing out.